Greetings, Commander. The Iron Hand Space Marine prefer proper fortification to fight back the Moisty Oil Death Guard. For the Emperor! If you want to make barricades for your troops, stay tuned. For this build I have created all kinds of different shaped objects with my Proxon Hotwire tool. Check out the Banker video if you are interested in how I use the Proxon Machina. A range of custom foam bricks allows you to create all kinds of architectural things like buildings, bunkers or barricades. Bits of model kits are great to add details. You can play around and figure out which design you prefer. It's a little bit like Lego. The base of this model is of 3mm MDF wood. This material is easy to process and solid enough to avoid warp effects. A miniature helps to get a feeling for scale and playability. After a series of tests, it is time to glue your final layout into place. I like to use wood glue, because you really need the time to adjust the model parts. And even larger accidents can be corrected. And you can easily clean it up with water. Small gaps between the floor and the plates are a good idea. These gap lines produce a natural shadow and structure the model this way. A little bit of sanding is needed to create an even and rough gluing surface. Also for the plastic bits, wood glue is fine. These are plaster casts of a pretty inaccurate 3D printed sci-fi window. I decided to cut it into parts and use them to add more details. They are very suitable to represent boardings or supporting structures. A little bit of damage is nice to create a used look. Wire mesh is a great material to model reinforced concrete. I recommend to use pliers because the ends of the wire can be really pointy. Time for a commercial break. If you are looking for a nice PDF with all shown techniques summed up, full of pictures and pointers, optimized for your mobile device, a great companion for your building sessions, check out our Patreon and get your monthly terrain PDF. Now it is time to texture the model with a thin mix of speckling compound. I like to add a bit of black or grey paint. This step makes priming easier later on. Dibble it on. Try to avoid brush strokes. Clean up some areas to save the sharp details. 
The base gets a thicker mix of speckling compound. Add sand and glue to make a simple soil paste or even a putty. An old brush is ideal to apply this soil paste to your model. Stick details into this wet compound. This is a tiny grenade. Sprinkle it with more sand to have a rougher texture here and there. Sandbags and skulls are always great to create the battlefield feeling you may look for. Blend the detail bits into the soil paste. A little bit of extra dirt here and there. This barricade is ready to get painted. Check out the bunker painting video on my channel. It shows the same technique that I used to paint up this barricade. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. Check out the links in the description below. Follow on Instagram, like on Facebook or become a supporter on Patreon. There's a list on tabletopterrainlenny.com where I recommend tools and materials for terrain modeling. This is an easy way to support the channel. If you have any questions or ideas how to improve my videos, drop a comment. Thank you and keep on making terrain. Cheers!